Warning, warning. Idiots are reading the SCP files over the intercom. Not the usual ones, either. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Discovering SCP, your favorite... Discovering, discovering... SCP? Shit. Yeah, Crocat, what's Discovering SCP? Uh, uh... This is clearly Finding SCP. The best podcast in the entirety of the SCP community is, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I got a bit confused. You know, it's been a, it's been a bit of a hectic day. You know, uh, I, uh, I woke up, uh, fell down. Uh, it, it's been kind of like crazy today. You know, my uh, brain's all topsy turvy. Well, I should mention that we do have some very special guests today. Ooh, yeah. and who are these guests? Yeah. Guari, if you will. Of course, of course. First, the first guest is Mr. 5000. May you present yourself? Me! Thanks for having me! I'm here on the show! <laughs> Great to be here! Indeed you are, indeed you are. And, and, the, sec- and the second guest oh, is someone ahead. you may not have heard of. Can you present yourself? Guy Darnell? Mm. Is this guy? Mm. Oh, 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 he's still know. got the tape on. Oh, I about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that here. <clears throat> Why am I the only one tied up? <laughs> Did he cut a deal with you? Tano, Tano's charming. We we couldn't just tie him up. What the I hell? He he wrote SCP five thousand. I mean, yeah. he's yeah, not charming. He's British. He must have it's cast me, a spell. Me. Don't fall for it. I just simply have high charisma. Okay. <laughs> He rolled a net 20. Yeah. I can't believe this. Yeah, Guys. I'm an made in this, unlike you. Discovering SCP. Can you tell him back up? He's pissing me off. Discovering SCP, I am so sorry to say this, but we challenged finding SCP to a fight and we lost, so they've taken over. You lost. Please don't, don't unsubscribe. It's just what. I'm sure we'll figure it out after this episode, right? <laughs> Off screen, yes. <laughs> I, I, I will go that, but okay. Well, I guess I mean, FSCP it... is better anyway. So, if anything, you'll just gain more subscribers. Wait, really? Think about oh, FSCP. Is... It's like it's like a uh, hashtag made by people who are angry about SCP. Yeah, it sounds like it's like fuck, fuck SCP. SCP! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I remember when Roundhouse killed my grandma. Hashtag FSCP. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I if you guys are gonna get some more subscribers, shot my right? dog. Oh my god, no. <gasps> <laughs> I remember when Hamilton threw his dog in an oven, but that's for another time. I guess... I once saw Hamilton at the grocery store, and he was a menace. <laughs> Is that the, the copy pasta where it's like, I tried to say hi, and he was like, whatever. And then he tried to steal from the cash register. Yeah. <laughs> um, I but don't believe it. If you guys took over, can you at least tell us how many articles you have today? Oh, yeah. Today we, we, have, have, we have three articles. Um, how much, can you do it properly, please? Oh, yeah, oh, right here, I got it. Okay, we have oh, no. one, two, three articles. <laughs> Guys, what happened oh, yeah, to your nice, co-host, my Nice and crispy. <laughs> Kurokat is disintegrating again. Oh, wait. No, no, wait, is my mic? like? I, I can't believe up? this. It's Don't worry, I'm waving bad. my hand in the air. That's what's causing it. This guy's got to get someone to look at his computer. <laughs> what you, the hell? Just your a, ass needs to go to Geek Squad. Of him. He's talking through it. Okay, how, how does it sound now? Very what? bad. Please. <laughs> All right, this? guys, we're going to have to cancel the FSCP like collab because Crow uh, can't fix his mind. <laughs> no, okay. How, I'm going to cancel all three of you. FSCP Goodbye. FSCP actually I'm has only two hosts. Um, wait, okay. I'm sorry. Maybe, I don't know who this maybe, guy is. Wait, what do I ch- change the gain? A question. What's gain on a, on a microphone? You should turn it just way down. Just give it a try. Just, just turn, the gain, turn the gain <laughs> way down. down. Okay. Turn the gain way down. I'm turning the, I'm turning the gain. Don't know if it's down or not. You see, what you hippie folks at home don't realize is this is content. You can not get this. Anomalous is actually going to cut all of this in post. This is why we have an editor, because Tan, well, when he used to this edit, would not so, cut all like, the bullshit. Anomalous, the we can't take it over, but Anomalous still has to edit. That's yeah. fucked up. He's, yeah. He comes, yeah, he yeah, comes yeah, with the good. podcast. Uh, we're, we're, we're paying Anomalous better, actually, so You're it's... You're paying uh, him? <laughs> yeah. Is, we're know? never getting Anomalous back. This is <laughs> no. God, it's how do yeah, we actually, they, they gave Anomalous a union, he has benefits. Can you, can you guys even hear me? Yeah. Uh, like, we can hear you, it's just too crispy, so I'm pretending I can't. Okay, damn it, okay, how about now, how about now? It's the exact same. God damn it, I'm, tr- I'm 
You're messing with the game, dial. All right, th this is this is a non-episode, so how about you unplug, replug your mic, troubleshoot while we get moving a little bit? So it almost uh, doesn't have too okay. much to cut out. Like, like, like mute or disconnect? Like, disconnect. unplug your microphone from the computer and then replug it in. Okay. All right. Did you know is this Star Wars Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary celebration yesterday? I'm really excited. Oh, I, did you see I that clip? It was like, Star Wars. honestly, good for you, because like, I was the same way till high school, and everyone's like, dude, watch it! So I did, and I was like, it's kind of mid. And everyone's like, you still yeah. get it. You're not smart enough for Star Wars. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah you just don't get it, Darnell, just like I, all those I, SCPs. I will say hey, that, that there was a Twitter video that reminded me of my favorite Star Wars scene, <laughs> where, where like a, a clone trooper punches Baby Yoda. <laughs> It's so, oh, yeah. it's so raw. How did first Baby Yoda off, not die? That was a stalk. That was a scout trooper. First off. Oh my god! <laughs> I bet this guy is also like I love Thrawn. Hashtag Thrawn. I, I'm, I'm it's the like the of Thrawn. I think there's like several levels of of Star Wars fan, and I was friends with. Yeah, like, once you deep. start like talking about Thrawn, you're in too deep. Yeah, exactly. Those were my friends, <laughs> so I think that's what ruined those. Star Wars for me. Is they tried way too hard with too much. They were like Thrawn and, and the Shaggy and all the extended, and I was like, this is too much. It's like, did you know there were lightsaber yeah, shields? I was friends... like, I don't care. <laughs> my friends just got me into anime instead. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like I've 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 held on so long and yet. Yes. Uh, a for yeah. Unbeknownst <laughs> to Orchid, while she's monologuing, I'm cutting the ropes so I can free myself from my prison. Monologuing. Yeah. Well, I thought you were gonna talk about yourself more, but it only went for like three seconds, so it didn't work. Yeah. That. Yeah. I don't know what. Your definition of a monologue is. But... I I was expecting you to monologue, but then you didn't. <laughs> I'm not that evil. Give me, give me a shake share bit of script. I'll do some monologues. All right, Tan, shake, honey, shake, give shake, us your, shake, give shake. us an improv thirty second monologue. I can't improv. I need a script. <laughs> okay. Um, this I is a non episode. All right. What out. is what is the first article? Someone link an article before I okay. vomit. Yeah, yeah. I, just I, I'll read it in the style of a Shakespearean monologue. <laughs> <laughs> ironic, very ironic. There we go. Uh, wait, uh, hold on. I still have to read these fucking things. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, Why do you think they freed read, you? Remember? Yeah. Wait, who's we reading? The, we need the smooth British. <laughs> I, I, I thought we agreed that you will react and we will read. Is that oh, how we're doing it? No one's volunteering to read. I'll read. I'll <laughs> read. Oh. Okay, Orchid will read. Never mind, go ahead. Okay. All right. This is SCP-3854. I'm not sure what the title is, and I don't want to go Belly of the Playwright. And, and it's by okay. M. Lister for the audience at home. Spelled the letter M and yes, then Lister. audience. <laughs> All right. Item number. SCP-3854. Object class. Safe? Yes. I don't know why I said it like that. I cried a single tear of joy. It's been so long since I've heard that word pronounced directly. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this a new object class? I'm more familiar. Um, oh yeah, sorry. It's actually a Sawefe. <laughs> okay, that's worse than anything I've ever done. <laughs> um, special containment procedures. SCP-3854 is to be kept in a freshwater containment tank in Site-36. The SCP requires no active maintenance, but a wood restoration specialist is to be kept on-site to perform monthly checkups on the subject. Personnel that interact with the SCP are to be fluent in Hebrew. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> no, I'm not fluent! That's why I'm saying it's terrible! <laughs> Anyways. As per anomalous sapient entity protocol, the SCP is to undergo weekly psychiatric ev evaluation. That sounds an awful lot like a reskinned nutritional chart. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this guy, <laughs> Dan, this guy who's only written nutritional charts, <laughs> this is giving me nutritional chart vibes. It's <laughs> <laughs> the same structure to it. Crowcat, are you there, by the way? Do we have Crowcat? Oh, oh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. you're good. Oh, no, definitely. Okay. He's, okay. he's, okay. he's, he's so sound staticky. No, he's no, you're good. There. You're good for now, but don't jinx it. He sounds better than he did so in I, real life. I see a boat that looks like a whale or a shark of some kind. 
I'm looking and I'm wondering, I have a theory, right? Because it mentioned Hebrew um, and that it's like, it's in a tank, so it's a fish of some kind. I wonder if this is, shut up. I wonder if this has oh. anything to do with the whale that ate Jonah. Thinking emoji. Okay. Don't you know that was 682? Was it? <laughs> I don't no, think so. No. <laughs> Jonah <laughs> hopped in my mouth. Hey, yes. 682 that... was in the Bible. It's uh, not very That's why he hates humans so much, because Jonah just lived in his mouth for a while and popped out, and he was like, so gross. Rent free. Yeah, live in rent free <laughs> inside 682. Would you live inside a whale for paying no rent, or would you live inside an apartment, but you have to pay rent? Um, inside a well, definitely. Do I have to live? Question mark? Yes. I kind of want to see the sun. You mean, I'm, I'm a flower. I can away. just live in the ground. What about this boat? Yeah, give us the description, Orkin. Continue. Description. The SCP is a semi-animate, sapient, wooden construct, superficially resembling a whale. Oh God, it's not that superficial. It looks kind of like a whale to me. So it's rude of it. whoever wrote that. Yes, it does. Do you not know what superficial means? Superficial. Google. It means that it resembles. It's not actually a whale, is what it means. It looks like one. Well, I thought it, I thought it meant like only on the surface, but it's a pretty good whale. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It it's set, here's the way. definition: appearing to be true or real only until examined more closely. But if you examine it more closely, it still looks like a whale. I mean, no, it fucking doesn't. It doesn't. It's got sharp like teeth. Whale. It's made it, of wood. You can kind of tell that it's not real, but I, it's still I see it's that, visible. Plants. I see that for Tanhony, beauty's only skin deep. I guess, but <laughs> it's actually. Oh my goodness! It looks okay on the inside. <laughs> Jesus why did why why did we kidnap these guys? I mean, come on. Yeah, you guys should have went on a better podcast like your cast or know what the Tower of London is. He doesn't know yeah. what superficial means. I do know what superficial <laughs> means. Yeah, because you just learned. Sorry, I had more than a superficial understanding of the word superficial. You didn't. Though. All right, I'm just I did. Continue. The joke was that I thought it looked like a All whale. Right. I was fooled. You idiot. The SCP's external dimensions measure 1.1 meters by 3.2 meters by 1.2 meters. Oh, While its internal God. dimensions, designated dash A, measure an approximate 500 square meters. I have, a, I have a question. How many decks are added to the whale boat uh, on its 15th, 20th, and 25th anniversary? Oh, and how long <laughs> do those decks last for? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the only way I can understand SCP articles. I think now. they just put that 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 architect cube in it. I think that's what happened. <laughs> new I new see. head cannon. But then, how did they disappear? Because don't they stay when the cubes are removed? Yeah. yeah. So, has holes. so someone manually dismantled um, all those someone, floors. Yes. They dismantled someone the like... space. <laughs> Sorry, right. we were reading an article, I believe. Yeah, no, <laughs> every every sentence we're just like, ah, oh, yes, let's talk about this. No, this is exactly right. what it's like when it's just me and Tantu. This is the norm. Yeah, and now you have three more people. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, the SCP is cognizant, g gross, being able to communicate in Biblical Hebrew, Old Aramaic, and High Enochian. Enochian. Footnote, Enochian. Enochian. It's actually, it comes from the word Pinocchian. Uh, which has to do with Pinocchio. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I assume it's some what SCP note? thing related to Enoch. Right? Pinocchio was my favorite yeah. character in the Bible. <laughs> Pinocchio to God be like, Father, <laughs> I want to go out on my own. Ah, yes. <laughs> in, in my Tanakh studies class, I remember when we went over uh, the, the important importance of Pinocchio. Yeah, he's like, Father, I want to eat the fruit of knowledge. <laughs> Well, you know, Pinocchio. Interesting. You're so smart. Huh? Okay. Pinocchio. Did, did you it's graduate university with that brain? I did. I did, actually. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. Oh. Did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, let's continue reading. Yeah, uh, continue. Thank you, Guare. This is what happens when I'm freed up. I just start. This is what happens when a woman comes on this podcast. Yeah. There's nothing I love more <laughs> than talking <laughs> over women. Am I right, guys? God damn. I don't think that's very smart at all, Donna. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should keep reading, probably. 
footnote. Subject displays no additional knowledge of pseudo, low, or middle Enochian. The subject purports to be the aquatic animal that once detained the biblical <gasps> prophet Jonah. I was right! Became consistent with the Assyrian tomes. Was I right? Was I not Jonathan. right? Yeah. I, Good job, Arnold. I'm you, so smart. You did but please, let, 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 let Orki continue reading. All right, well, I'm going to make a truce um, yes. that I will not interrupt until after the next time the word Jerusalem comes up. He's lying. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. 620 to 612 BC. From the Horizon Initiative's Universal Text. The SCP was recovered, washed up on a beach near Tel Aviv, Yerushalayim. Well, I can't interrupt because the word I said didn't come up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cause I said it. I said I said it all, 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 all fancy. I guess I can't talk then. I gotta stay quiet. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm bound by no such vow. All right, Jerusalem. There you go. You can... <sighs> Thank God. All right. The phrase "scrivener associates" is painted onto the side of the SCP in plain English. Oh, and it links to another SCP. Hmm. hmm. Oh. All right. Hmm. Oh, we haven't read that one, have we, Tan? Oh, thanks, so darn now. But after all, not our podcast. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I've turned into a Minecraft I'm villager. Just... Hmm. And I just popcorn off. <laughs> yes, Crow Cat. Why don't Why don't you say, do the SCP is weak? They couldn't get from a single article. Oh. Do I, this is what Tan has to deal with every week. Uh, yeah, Crow Cat, you read before your mic goes okay, crispy I'll, again. I'll read, but. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. Am no, I it's already read? gone crispy. <laughs> Fucking hell. No. This is so what sad. Crow Cat Bros, can we go to, to Geek Squad and get this fixed? <laughs> <laughs> we, need a, we need a fun It's okay, just read with your crispy to... mic. I don't want you to be sad. Read, read, read. We'll live. Well, no, but I feel bad because it's. Don't feel bad. Like Dude, have you listened to the first 50 episodes of DSCP? It'll be okay. I did, but I forgot. Oh. You listened to the well episode. Yeah, just go. Go off. Go off, King. He's not going off, guys. What do we do? Come on, do it. Okay, I, I guess, oh. Squarry, do you want to read then? I'm okay. Stop okay. speaking! Hello? Oh, there Hello. he is. We didn't hear you. <laughs> is this the best we you've got at finding now. SCP? Hmm. <laughs> You see, you all in the comments said finding SCP is so much better. Look what happened. I'm, 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 I'm like the principal who walks into the high school classroom and starts taking notes. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Curious. This will be on the final hold on. report. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going Hello. to join using my phone. Yeah. Multi-technique. Uh. Multi-mic drifting. <laughs> So He's the other day, um, my car, I, I was going and the check engine light came on. So I was like, oh, maybe I need to get oil soon. But like my car was sputtering. It was really bad. And I have a long drive to and from work to home. So on my way home, I was like, I need to go see my friend. And we checked the oil and there was literally zero oil in it. He was like, how did you not die? Your, your engine should have like died <laughs> on the highway. So we went and got some temporary oil, put it in. And then this weekend... This weekend, I hauled ass to get my oil properly changed and everything done so I could record um, Havoc Moon. Uh, and oh, they tried to sell me all this yeah. shit. They tried to sell me all this shit, but I stayed strong. I had Hamilton in DMs the whole time. I was like, Hamilton, do I really need this? He's like, no, you don't need that. I was like, what about this? He's like, no, you don't need that. And I finally well, he's just now, like, Hamilton does the thumbnails. He tried to make Hamilton do music. <laughs> Yeah, like Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton. People are like, wow, Tan Honey and Darnell, the creative brains behind DSCP. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no. It's all Hamilton. The shadow it's all Hamilton. Hamilton. It's little green man. We should give Hamilton the shadow present role and give Tan a different name. Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Daniel, um, one question. Why did, why did you ask Hamilton for financial advice? No, no, no. I just... I was asking him about well, car sorry, advice. I was I was asking him about car <laughs> advice. Like, hey, do I actually need to get my tires rotated? And he's like, no, that's just some bullshit they try to sell you. Um, so I was Hamilton like, okay, tax. yeah, because Hamilton knows a lot about cars. So I got home and I'm like, oh, I made it just in time. And I get Tan and Stigma in the call, and then Dune doesn't show up, and I was really sad. And that was my story. I was trying oh. to fill time till Crow Cat was back. That's... I, I'm I'm here. Can you Let's guys hear me? Yes. 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 Start reading. Okay. Read. Okay. I will read now. 
a list or no one to talk I, more about his car. No, please read before the <laughs> mic goes bad. We have a limited amount of time. Right, okay. Well, well, right, right. Well, I switched my to using my phone. Okay. Dash A functions as a self-contained thaumaturge confinement chamber comprised of contiguous layers of Zisiphus spina Christi. Wow, you nailed that. Uh, Tan would not have got that. Uh, footnote, also known as Christ Thorn Jujube, or the or the oh, Lote so Tree. Or, well, how do you pronounce it? No, the Latin version was no problem. The English version, <laughs> got ya. It's Jujube. Yeah. 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 That's a very obscure word, so you're fine. Uh, or the yeah. Tree you need to be in the top ten percent of humans to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ranking humans in their ability to pronounce English words? Yeah, exactly. You read us here. Oh no. The teeth, fins, uh, vertebra frame, and eyes of the SCP were manufactured by timber derived from a around 2,620 year old Zisiphus tree located on the outskirts of Jerusalem. Actually, can you say that word the way that Orchid said it a second ago? <laughs> oh, how did you say it? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Y That's Yerushalayim? Enough. Is that how you said it? <laughs> right, sure. Thank you. All right. Sure. All right. yes, On the outskirts of Yerushalayim. Uh, dash 1A is a gastrointestinal domicile that comprises the main space of Dash A, accessible from the SCP's mouth. Its construction matches that of modern Western European synagogues with the following deviations. An abundance of Persian rugs, walls made of Sisyphus bark, oil bone ask... archways... I have to ask hmm? a question. Is Zisiphus tree is real? Is that a real tree? Because it uh, sounds fake. I would assume. Zisiphus tree. Um, oh, it's, ju it's, it's just it's oh, just jujube. It's the same thing. Okay. Yeah. okay. I don't know. It sounds fake. <laughs> it it Whale is fake. Oh. Whalebone archways in the place of doors. A ceiling made entirely of whale blubber. <laughs> two portholes corresponding to the SCP's eyes, which emits sunlight uh, regardless of time of day. A theater stage on the place of an altar, uh, several Eye of Providence images trained on said theater stage, uh, and a series of clay tablets detailing several mor morality plays. See addenda. Uh, oh, this is kind of giving me a nutritional chart vibe when it mentions looking at the addenda for more info. Just, I wonder if <laughs> oh, they're inspired. A nutritional by chart. That. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dash A2 is a post chamber accessible from a doorway in the back of, of A1's theater stage. The room's construction is notably more organic than Dash A1, with the walls and ceiling being formed of human epithelial tissue. Yep, you got the it. Floor is the floor is made of petrified wood with select illuminated spots engraved with biblical scenes of destruction. The only source of light in Dash A2 is Dash B. Dash B is the collective de is the collective designation for forty enlarged uteri mm -hmm. on the far wall of Dash A two. Uh, dash B are semi transparent uh, uteri and tr and back. Well, forty large uteri. ones lining the walls. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not fucking <laughs> just like uterus. I don't I don't like the I'm word enlarged just uteri. Up with you. That just sounds like uh, like pushing against the intestines. Uh. Yeah, and don't yeah, forget imagine... the, your back lit. There's back they're backlit by by an orange light of undetermined source. That's the least frightening part of that sentence. Oh. If anything, that kinda gives it some ambiance. <laughs> it gives it a vibe. Alright. Uh, the uteri vibe. Each instance <laughs> except B uh, thirty six contains an apparent footnote see interview log human zygote oh no uh dash b uh 36 is empty with a visible tear indicating violent struggle from its former contents this thing's Addendum. giving birth the, oh, yeah. uh, wait you, you <laughs> said <laughs> hang on <laughs> darnell oh. said uteri vibe and my brain was like ah yes that once a month uteri vibe <laughs> oh no <laughs> jonah get out i'm having my period <laughs> that's why he left the following is a translated footnote. See Bishop Thomas, Extraordinary Languages, Mundane Typefaces, Observer, and SCP Foundation Journal. Um, excerpt of stone tablets found within Dash A1. The tablets were primarily written in High Enochian, with portions such as Jonah's lines written in Proto Sinaitic. Uh, Jonah. I think. Jonah. Oh, Enochian. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. That does sound right. Uh, footnote, Jonah, having lived in approximately the uh, 8th century BC, would have no ability to read Proto-Sinaitic. Sin 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 
night. Yes, what Guari said. Uh, yeah, like, oh, okay. So Guare, I see how it is. <laughs> he said it first. I'm committing the sin of wrath. All right. So Wait. here's the translated yes. script. Of, Guari, uh, would you mercy. like to do the script for us? I would like oh. to say. Well, actually, well, the script's a multi-affair, but like, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's the rules. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Let Let me look at all the roles so we can. Okay. So there's a sailor one and two. There's captain. There's Jonah, and there's wow. There's enough for all of us technically. Voice of the Lord. Okay. Who wants to be the captain? Um, I be the Lord. Can you can be yeah. the Lord? Man. All right, Guara, you want to be the captain? Yeah. Okay, Crocat, can you be Jonah? Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds good. All right, do you want to be Sailor 1 or 2, Orchid? I'll be Sailor 2. I'll be Sailor 1, then. All right, let's do this shit. Okay, page 1. Mercy takes time to digest. Three days and three nights by M.S. Distributed by Tim Henson. Copyright in Punch of Sevens by M.S. Cast of characters. Stackholm Wings. Captain on the ship bound towards Ashish. Hans Mouse. Killer 1, 2, and 3 on the ship bound towards Tarshish. Ceaseless Mouse. The sun that burned Nineveh. The east wind that burned Jonas King. And the voice of the Lord that so loved his people. Grant me, grant me wings, O Lord, does the Archeon plant. Is that, is that Korean? Oh, Let me okay. see. Kion plant. Uh, yeah, that's a real plant. Oh, okay. The Kakion um, plant? The... No. Kakion. <laughs> okay. okay, let's continue. An anthrop- anthropomorphic will reside the only participants, one, two, and three. Jonah is the future mouthpiece of the Lord's divine predilections. May the earth tremble at the Lord's might, the one. I am based on our divine instruments, the two. Nice. The two, act one. The same, the same one, Prophet Paria. Settings. Capwest conquer every corner of the room. Candlelight blows out too, too soon, and Jonah must settle with an uneasy rest on the mat floor. He has just fled the only home he has ever known. Meanwhile, atop the deck, as thermal corns, rolling waves bombard the ship. Scars on sailors begin throwing cargo of the boards, while others pray to their heretical gods. Captain hammers Jonas Lord Thor. Okay, so. So first comes the captain. How can you sleep? Get up! Take it up! Huh? What? You can sleep later. If the, you can sleep later. If there is one. Have you not heard the thunderstorms in the sky? Yeah, yes, yes, I, I have heard the, thum- the thunderstorms in the sky from you just now. Dear absolute Lord of the primeval seas, save me from this fool. You, the really good prop falling beside Jonah. Those and those, Absu. Now, hurry, Jonah. To the deck. Bring more hands to throw out the cargo. To, to Jonah, feigning tiredness. If we're going to die anyway, I'd rather, I'd rather do it from the comfiness of a haystack. Come here, has Haystack. Yes, be my companion for tonight. You to Jonah phoning over a vaguely feminine hate pillow. Vaguely feminine hate pillow. It's um, like me. Uh, um, okay. What does that even that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. <laughs> vaguely feminine hate pillow. Stack her wings, pal Jonah up the stairs and through the doorways. In page three, Captain, how goes it? To Lance Mouse, shoveling cargo of the ship, Septis. Grim, we just shoved off two sacks of gold, three barrels of rum, and five men named Steve into the water. The ship won't budge. Alzman, how goes it? Um, Lance Mouse falls to the ground, dying and pleading, clutching the false hydros hanging around its neck. Oh, Anu, hear my cry! Ah, oh, damn it. Um, oh, Enki, I beseech thee, quell the storm! Damn it! Oh, Marduk, please tell me you're not a fluke! Two symbols hang, hang banging, a spotlight flash. As mass is rooks to shoulders and throw out its false idols. Oh, well, that's all of them, Captain. 
Damn, Jonah, you better have a god for us. Let's we confuse you for cargo liquidity, Steve. Q to stagger, um, Q to stagger and wing, making a threatening gesture that involved at the top of the mast deployed. Red streamers pop out of the mast, tops and cells. Hey, hey, Jehovah, cut that out. No means no, and I'm not returning your calls just so I can take a paid vacation to some foreign country called Nineveh with all manner of molestation and sin. They can rot in a valley. <laughs> all right, you know what? No more Mr. Nice than Benevolent. Convert to me, all of you, then throw Jonah into the big fish. Q to a big fish parking next to the ship. Lance Mouse and Stackhorn Wings hold Jonah from where he stands and fling him overboard, him praying and singing hymns to the Lord. Hate you all. Q to the clouds, storms and sea peace residing, fog machine turned off, a sunshine set piece overheard. Then page 4, Act 1, Scene 2. Nautical Nightmare! Setting. Green red quartz pulls it around Jonah as he wakes up. His hand bar from accidentally touching acidic liquids that surround the small amount of land underneath him. It of small kidney stones and hardened barnacle. A bizarre emissary onto the Lord, flattering the countless queens, spinning screaming wells, levitates above him. This is made of well meat are prepared for him. The characters are the voice of the Lord and Jonah. Ah, my head. Wait, where am I? What is this place? You two voice emanating out of the emissary. You are inside of a servant of mine. Well, I'm staying here. I won't go to Nineveh. Nothing, nothing you can do or say will make me change my mind on, on the matter. Now, oh, Jonah, why do you think it always has to be about sodomites, thieves, and erroneous beliefs? Sometimes God gets lonely. Burning all the bushes when I was awake, commanding me to go to Nineveh. And when I was asleep, you kept yelling about it from from a dream cloud. Oh, we might have got off on the... I'm the Lord your God. I don't have to take this from you. Do your job or I sink you in whale acid. But it's a big fish? Perhaps not. I understand since you are ambient if you live that long. All right, all right. Oh, Lord, slow your anger, fury, and all manner of retribution. Your pity hath shaped me, the beast that serves you and humbles me in digestive fluids. Sinners and sodomites shall learn that you forgive in iniquity and transgression and sin. I am cured! The Lord God will by no means absolve the guilty, but by gracious mercy and primordial seas, the Lord shall enter the half and wash them clean. You are dismissed, my child. Go to Nineveh, unmolested. That's the holy dog. That's that's Michael the angel. He's a dog. Yeah. The, the walls, the walls crunch up and a sneeze is heard. Jonah is spattered with a blowhole. Continued in appendix, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Just stop hearing at the very end. Okay. It's numbers. <laughs> Tanhoni, why don't you do yeah, the yeah. minute intro before the next interview? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll try and over drown out this dog. Addendum on 12-19-1986, shortly after the initial exploration of Dash A, the SCP regained consciousness. Lead researcher Chazen subsequently conducted a field interview with the SCP. Why is he so loud, guys? Because of the dog I'm trying to drown out. I can't hear the dog at all. Can you not? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I mean, Enjoy neither. <laughs> He's just insane. <laughs> guys, I think Cam has gone <laughs> crazy. He's got there spirit no hounds. I extended the mic towards the dog and it's like your head. Alright. You, you can't hear that? Guys, this is awkward. Yeah. Interview! Can I be the SCP? Sure, who wants to be Dr. Chasen? Um, I'll be Dr. Chasing. Okay, Tan, Why you... don't you go chasing some bitches? <laughs> oh! Tan, you do the in-betweens? Okay, you are no longer in, in finding SCP. Oh my goodness! Okay, I'll see you. Yeah, let's go. Tan. Press. What happened He's to Tan, honey? Um, um, I guess I have to take off. over. <clears throat> yeah. Interview. Do you guys see what I have to deal with? He doesn't even tell me when he goes. He just fucks off. <laughs> Interviewer. Dr. Chasen. Interviewee. SCP 3854. Forward. The subject has a drawn out manner of speaking. 
Pauses have been edited out of this transcript for legibility purposes. Phrases in italic are translated from Eno- Enochian. Uh, SCP-3854 begins stirring, producing unknown vocalizations. Assistant researcher James turns on audio recorder he had on hand. You gonna speak? Whale song, wood creaking. Yes. Dr. Chasen turns to researcher James, ascertains that he is recording, returns to facing SCP-3854. Is there any way to prefer to roll by? None. None? Well, can you tell me who you are? Flotsam. Dr. Chasen is taken aback by the Anarchian. Oh no, him. What? What is it that I said? Debris, holy garbage. If you are garbage, well, then you must have been in something before you were garbage. High pitched hum from SCP 3854. Mm. <laughs> A tool of the Lord. I was Jonah's fish. Dr. Chasen struggles to come up with a response. Researcher James pantomimes Dr. Chasen to discuss SCP 3854 A. Mouse, there. Can you tell us about the content of your stomach? Part of the lesson. P- lesson? What? What kind of lesson? We all have roles. Jonah had to rehearse for his. My role was to help him rehearse, and to study, and to pray. I got out the cave. Cave? Cave with the embryos. Oh, those are angels. What? Angels. Angels carry messages. Symbols are strong messages. Embryos. The unborn of Nineveh. A symbol of innocence that's at stake. Are these angels also debris? Low droning sound. No. Angels are not as disposable as me. Different sense of time. They're where they are meant to be, waiting for their next duty. Um, then the wound that was torn open, could that be an escape angel? A kind of Christian demon? No, don't be absurd. That was Jonah. You gave birth to Jonah? I nursed him. I had to do it after he failed all his lessons. The study, the self-reflection, and the 67 shows he put on did not do any good for him. So I took him into myself. Dr. Chasen grimaces. He was rather chastened by that news. Well, 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 look who decided <laughs> to show up, boys. And there was a dog barking I had to mute for the sake of the podcast. Did no one heard the dog bark. There was like ten dogs <laughs> in here. <laughs> Honey, you are the only person He's who got a case of the the Downs of Tindalos. They come. The Downs of Tindalos? Honey, What's Tindalos? <laughs> It, it, it's like it's like an old like like short like horror story thing. It's a hidden it's a hidden British city underneath London. This Tindall. Yes, exactly. It's, yeah. Oh, so that's what that SCP is. Yeah, un un London or whatever. It's just Tindallos. <laughs> yeah, no, we were talking about another thing. We'll see. I believe it was we your line. We should finish orchid. this. Oh, wait, did you... Oh, okay, I didn't hear Gwari. Okay, never mind. He thrashed, trying not to get pulled in. Tried to not get pulled in. But he succumbed to the slumber. The dreams and the visions he saw eventually worked. Um, What did he see? I don't know. Time was different for him than for me, or even the angels. To me, he slept through the third night peacefully. To him, he must have gone through an age in there, tempered. Okay, so I have to ask, why did you guys pick this one? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I suggest, because like, uh, uh, I noticed in like some of the episodes, like Darnell, uh, you said that like... Uh, I do found, like, like religious, religious SCPs, stuff, like, but this this kind of felt like it was more of like uh, a parody 
on like on like Christian ideas. Which, I like, thought I'm it was just... very strange tone wise. Yes. It feels like it's yeah. as Darnell says. I feel like the first section is a parody, and then it switches to being serious about it. Yeah. So like, I, 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 noticed, don't, I, I don't, don't take mind a quick look something... in discussion. I saw it as a collab, and I I, I think I can see whether the switch yeah. over. Because like <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I, I want to clarify I don't care if something like makes fun of Christianity or other religion that's fine with me um, but it was really weird because I felt like in the beginning it's like oh this is like a laughing at Christianity thing but then it's like no this is super serious and there's all these like pulsating wombs and we absorb Jonas so we would know his role and it's like what the fuck is happening uh, it felt like a very huge tone shift um, I'm gonna have to rate this one on our new scale of shit middle good a uh, middle I think. Um, <laughs> This is the oh, actual. Right. You guys, you just, I was you just stay in that rating system. system. Yeah, you just stay so, in. So, um, so this one's a middle. I'm not going to give it an upvote. I didn't hate it, um, but I think it was a little too all over the place. And it was a little. I would like, also say it was middle. I, I feel like they set up a lot of ideas, but like, there's not really a deeper symbolism behind them. It's just kind of like it hints at things and then never explains them. Um, I don't know. Like it didn't, it didn't like it didn't do it in a way that probed my imagination to be like I wonder what it was. It did it in a way where I was like, oh, they're just like tossing out vague stuff to see what sticks. Um, but you know, it wasn't like the worst thing I've ever read or anything. It wasn't one of Tanhony's SCPs. So yeah, yeah, let's yeah. be clear. I think I don't back. But yeah, um, uh, what else do you guys have for us today? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sharing we... it right now. Right. Oh, we we did it at the same time. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Chargers champion. Guys. We are already we 40 right there, minutes in. Okay, this one's really short, so it should be fine. Oh, hell yes. I'll take this one. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, Tanhony, I don't want to hear your stupid British voice. I would like to hear. Do I give a fuck voice. what you want, you oh little God. American <laughs> bastard? <laughs> He's taking Tanhony control should back. Take this one, I do think. Rip. Yeah. Right, if I rated just... your right fucking sister, you would be very shit. <laughs> Damn, I'm scared. Oh my god. It should be. <laughs> this is the table. I'm about to make it right. Oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to do what King George couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'll finish what the crown started. King okay, Tanhony. Let's, let's begin. Yeah, yeah, first of all, the name Emperor. Item number. SCP-4594. Object class. Isn't that weird that Britain it. was a British Empire, but they never had an emperor? Isn't that kind of odd? That you know of. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> shadow the, emperor. The, 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 <laughs> the queen, like, can't press a button on the throne. There's, like, an yeah. elevator that goes down. Yeah, and then you go down, you see I a guy who's like... my lord. <laughs> what makes a king a king? <laughs> Tim. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Alright, sorry, you should Special get Special containment procedures. An appropriate number of Foundation agents must be embedded as sewage, ma sewerage maintenance personnel in affected wait, London boroughs. Wait, fuck, sorry to interrupt. Who wrote this? Kid F, it says? Uh, yeah, Kid F. Kid oh, F. Wow. And a task with reporting novel instances of Dash 1 and Dash 2 to Site 95. Non-Foundation personnel and civilians observing or otherwise interacting with the SCP are to be anesthetized and released. The location of the primary SCP mass must be tracked via ground-penetrating radar. A minimum of one weekly rodent-based exploration of the SCP's interior is to be conducted with the purpose of identifying any deviation from the established characteristics of the objects. Get the rat agents in there. I'm gonna guess this is some kind you of giant... Some blurry in there. Is this maybe like a giant like uh, mycelium or like an intestine underneath London or something? In the name of the article was There is a gullet when it's London. There's a what? There's a what? A gullet. 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 Okay. Like, Description. S it's a Dalek. Oh my god, it's Doctor Who! Dalek! Doctor Who! Doctor Who SCP! Sonic Screwdriver! <laughs> Time is so tiny, why me? <laughs> Guys, watch out! 173 is a weeping <laughs> angel! This episode of discovering <laughs> SCPs. Doctor, there's a gullet underneath London! You need to stop it! <laughs> Quick, use your sonic screwdriver on six eight two. Oh my god! Fantastic. We get into it. <laughs> Description: The SCP is a tubular organic structure resembling a human esophagus. That's actually a real part of the human body, Darnell. Yeah. It's Located below the city of London, UK. I don't have an esophagus. I'm a flower. Um, the SCP awkward. forms a loop three hundred and eighty kilometers in length that extends across the Greater London region. Um, more Jurassic like the lesser yes. London region. There's no such thing as great things in London. Shut your mouth. 
I, th- I thought you didn't like London. I thought you no. hated it. You were like, oh, there are a bunch of posh bastards up there. Yeah, there are me. a bunch of fucking Tory. Uh, sorry, I, we have to, we can't move. Woo! Damn! All right, so this episode will not wow. be monetized. <laughs> He got, he got into it. Did you see that? I, I could feel the rage of the British people welling up inside him. Like, you know, in My Hero Academia, where like the nine souls coalesced, that was tan for a moment when he was about to say the C word. I think it'll be Irish, and it'll be perfect. The majority of the SCP's mass is located at an average depth of 25 meters below the surface. However, short. I don't know why I said that, like, victoriously. However. <laughs> Shorter tubes extend upward from the primary structure at irregular intervals and terminate any of the sphincters, Ugh. dash one, which expel matter from the objects or mouth life cavities, dash two. Wait, so this matter. is a straight mouth to ass pipeline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no stomach, no <laughs> intestines, isn't that what, no isn't nothing. That what human life is? No, because you have like a stomach and like an intestine. It's yeah, but just like, straight mouth to ass. If you think about the court, like the end result of a human life, you take in matter and then. Re- Take it out, and that's all. No, but but the idea is like before you put the matter out, you take shit from it. But if it's just mouth to ass, nothing's being absorbed. It's just a tunnel, a human tunnel. Hell yeah! The structure is seamlessly connected. That's the the name of my new band that I'm starting is Human Tunnel. Mouth to ass is our album. Connected to the city's (laughs) sewage infrastructure and are the only conventional means of access to the SCP. Mm. The SCP. Oh, it's a mobile. Uh, I was gonna oh, it's like... in the sewer too. So it's not only mouth to ass, but it's like mouth to assing like people's shit. That's so gross. The SCP is motile. <laughs> it to go in continuous peristalsis, which is the contraction and relaxation of muscles that propagates in a wave down so a tube. Basically, in like the process pulsates, of digestion, peristalsis and... propels material along the gastrointestinal tract. Yeah, so it basically pulsates and squirms throughout the sewers. Oh yeah. The object is capable of large-scale movement by using its own mass to abrade the surrounding Earth. What's abrade mean? It, That's a word I actually don't know. Uh, let me see. You uh, seriously don't know? By yeah. friction or erosion. Thank you. In this manner, the SAP has adapted to the changing subterranean infrastructural landscape of the city by selectively avoiding certain features, including the land and underground. Are remaining in proximity to the evolving so, sewage network. How does this thing work in regards to unlondon? Is it like the Cerberus of unlondon? It keeps out, it keeps out the people not meant to go there. Maybe, maybe. Mm-hmm. The SCP's interior is yeah. host to an indeterminate number of rodents and other small mammals that use the objects as a means of travel, <laughs> like a bus. Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah, oh rat my god, it's a fucking rat London underground. I just realized. What is it? London Underground, but for rats. Oh, wow. <laughs> Movement within the SCP occurs by utilizing the object's peristalsis contractions to achieve forward propulsion. The majority of the population consists of house mice and brown rats, but cats, dogs, foxes, moles, and eastern grey squirrels have also been documented. Why would a ca- why would a rat use the same transport a cat does? Hashtag plot hole? Despite um, the high incidence of crowding. Actually, rats usually attack cats. My neighbor Totoro, but it's like a rat and a mouth to ass creature. Despite the high incidence of crowding, I don't like know what Totoro is. Mouth to ass. What else am I supposed um, to call it? Thing. The esophagus? A, 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 a gullet. The gullet? I like that. I like the esophagus. The gullet train? <laughs> the gullus. <laughs> the gullusy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Despite the high incidence of crowding, the SCP's occupants are docile and do not actively interact with one another. Instead, remaining limp while within the SCP. There is no evidence to suggest that oh. animals observed in the SCP are anomalous in origin. I mean, who could resist getting in there? The SCP has been known to the Foundation since 2013. However. An examination of administrative records, as well as disparate personal accounts of city residents, suggests the SCP may have existed in some capacity since the advent of London's modern sewage network in the late this 19th is, century. This is funny because it means for all the like highly like conceptual, like mind not real, al- al- alternate dimensional bullshit SCP finds, this giant mouth to ass creature was underground for 200 years and they only found it like a decade ago. <laughs> I mean, where would you be looking for a mouse? To yeah, you're not looking for it. <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't want to go to London on a foundation research trip either, so I could understand why. 
What do you mean? Man. You don't want to see Big Ben. You don't want to see the Tower of London. You don't want to see the London Eye. There's nothing. There's nothing. You, there's nothing. The you know what I want to do? I want to go to London. And I want to ride the London Eye with Tanhony, and I want to have like an of mice and men scene where I push him off the top of the Ferris wheel. You can't. <laughs> <It's not laughs> it would, it would end up like Pokemon Black and White, where I'm like, I'm the king of Team Plasma. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of London <laughs> underground. I am the mouth to ass creature. <laughs> Where else do I, I mean, we're we're a flesh terminal. Oh my god. Right. We were reading an SCP or something, right? <laughs> I hate all of these words that are that are being said right now. A rodent-based exploration of the SCP on 15th of March 2019 was interrupted after the animal in question. A house mouse designated R1. I was about to ask if when Billy Butcher came on, but then you said house mouse, and I was like, oh, never Yeah, it like forcibly went like 100 miles an hour (laughs) over the course of a few words. (laughs) Was swallowed by a prominently aged humanoid entity emerging through the solid mass of 4594. Fucking diabolical. Snatch up that rat like he's a little order. Fucking diabolical. R1871 was approaching the sewers before the Royal Albert Hall at the time. Although the video feed was compromised in the process, audio transmissions were still received at Sat 95 for several hours following the initial incident. Partial transcriptions provided below. Uh, which one is doing this? Uh, <laughs> Why? Well, Me? Think... Alright, Crocat, go off. go off. Tell us about the British elves. Well I, well, I can't do a British accent. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> Read it anyway. Uh, oh, well. Alright, okay, okay. Begin log. Uh, 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 how, should I, how should I, like, say the time stamps? Should I, don't, should do, I don't, don't, say don't even, don't even bother. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Just, and you have okay. to try to do a British accent. I don't care if it's bad. Begin log. Rushing air. Brief splatter. The rodent breathe. The, the rodent breathing, but otherwise silent. Wait, this is Crocat uh, reading and not Tanhony, right? Oh. I'm just double checking. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Deep thumping, similar to a heartbeat in the distance. Approaching footsteps, which abruptly cease. Sniffing, followed by prolonged, high-pitched giggling. Heavy grunting. Wet burst, followed by dripping and a soft thud. Giggling continues. Footsteps interspersed with scurrying. Muffled orchestral music and singing. Thumping intensifies. <laughs> the rodent begins squeaking. Singing and, or- and orchestral music becomes clear. The rodent matches the rhythm with its vocalizations. Mm-hmm. Thumping becomes louder. The rodent squeaks, uh, indistinguishable from deep, joyful humming. Thumping reaches greatest volume. Music and singing drowned out. The rodent screams before breaking into song. Loud, extended belch. Uh, and log. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the time of transmission, the Mountbatten, the Mountbatten Festival of Music was being held at the Royal Albert Hall. However, no suspicious activity at the festival was reported. Uh, excavation beneath the hall is ongoing. What the hell is the Royal Albert Hall, Tan? Are you fucking kidding me? Why do you have a royal named <laughs> Albert? That's such a stupid name. Um, you're, what do you're, you have against okay, Albert? No, you'll make it, Darnell. It's okay. What? You, you, you'll make it. You'll make it? Is that what you're your saying? Is, you still have your chakras. You're going to make it. My, my what? Your chakras. Chakras? Yeah, you're going to make it. <laughs> like Naruto? <laughs> Okay, here we go. The Royal Albert Hall is a concert hall on the northern edge of South Kensington. Oh, that's the most posh-ass name I've ever heard. South Kensington, London. One of the United Kingdom's most treasured and distinctive buildings. Wow, yikes. It is held in trust for the nation and managed by a registered charity which receives no government funding. It can seat 5,272. That is a small-ass concert. Damn. (laughs) It's because it's not one of your, it's not one of your little, um, your little body pits that you have in the US. These is these are actually like events. I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like a very small auditorium. The best part of this podcast is Daniel 
Is, is that nerd roasting boy? A college class couldn't even. A college class couldn't even graduate in this building. It's so small. Oh my god! They, well, they couldn't graduate in your building either. Yes, they could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking raw. Fucking diabolical. They just can't graduate. This is so true. Hashtag. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I finished up with college before that. It was too bad. Oh man. Um. So yeah, this article, I wanted to give it a middle. I'll give it like on the low end of good. I'll just give it a good because you know it, it was it was a funny visual. It didn't overstay its welcome. It only probably took so long because uh, I have to log in the wiki dot. It only took so long because we kept interrupting. Like I thought it was okay. I'll, I'll give it a, a tentative good. What do you feel about this oh. FSCP in tan? Probably middle, I would say. It feels like it has a really cool concept, but it, it seems to like almost branch out into different directions, change its mind, and then just keep going and not really like go anywhere with, apart from like the strong image. You know, like it has the like the British elf come out, but we never hear anything more about that. You know what? It the kinda... vague implication that spooky stuff happened at a concert, but we don't get any more of that. You know what? Kind of feels like to me. It kind of feels like a series oh, one article doing... a little bit. Ah. Uh, like, it feels like something that if it had come out earlier, people would have probably built off yeah. of it and done the heavy lifting for it. But because it's, like, a Series 5 article, I don't think anyone gives enough of a shit to, like, build the world around it. You know what I mean? Because really? there's already so much stuff to work off of. I, I feel like this stands, like, pretty well, like, like on its own. Like, uh, uh, I don't think this should, like, have anything, like, added to it. I uh, I don't know. I, I, it's just, like, a very, like... It's subjective, of course, but I, I just didn't yeah. think there was enough there. I was kind of of Tan's opinion, but I thought the visual and the fact that it didn't always stay its welcome just pushed it in the good for me. Like, mm -hmm. if it had been a little bit longer, I would have been like, it's excessive. But it was like, all right, I get it. It's a mouth to ask. Oh, yeah, but it's just longer. But that... There's a difference between it being longer because it's like stretched out and longer because there's more stuff. Right, that's true. Um, yeah, but this is what it feels like. It feels like this would have been a series one. It would have banged and people would have built around it. But because it came out so late and there's already so much more going on, it doesn't really meet the expectations of like modern SCP for me. It doesn't really do enough on its own or innovate. That's kind of mm. my opinion. Look, I gave it an upvote though. So yeah, it's crazy. I love this article. Oh, wait, what was that? I said, don't be too upset, Crowcat. I gave it an upvote. No, no. Well, I mean, I mean well, no, it's all good. It's all good. This was it written is, by Crowcat's know, strongest soldier. <laughs> <laughs> written, written by my child. My kid F. <laughs> my, my child will upvote this the, SCP. The, the Crow Kitten wrote this one. I mean, maybe Tan and I are stupid. It's got mostly upvotes, only a few downvotes. To be honest, I, I, we read this one on an FSCP time, and at the time I was like, I probably didn't really like it because I wasn't really paying attention. But um, I still don't really. And it's mid for me as well. So and. Right. Well, you guys, as as great as you've been to have on, you picked horrible SCPs this week, so you will never be on again. I'm kidding, of course. They, We'd love to they, have you guys they, they, hey, we have a last one. We have a last one. No, we don't have time for a last one. No. We we <laughs> fuck around too much. <sighs> Quarry. <laughs> Quarry. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Quarry. Quarry. Don't be silly. Quarry. I'm down, rat man. All right, I'll tell you what, though. Um, I'd be happy to have you guys on another time. If you want to stick around for the comment reading, we'd love to have you as well. Yes, um, definitely. Yeah, sure. yeah, yes. definitely. Uh, yeah. But this was fun, and we will definitely do it again in the future. So d so don't be sad. We can always read that one later. But it's like we're, yeah, we're yeah, almost yeah, an hour yeah. in, and we still got to read the comments, which can take a bit. Okay. Let me get this open. Um... Uh... By the way, what did you guys think of the last DSCP episode? I'm curious. It, it was good. It, it was pretty fun. I thought it was, it was fun. fun too, but... It was a great idea. Awesome. What do you think, Crowcat? Uh, yeah, I liked it. It, it was fun. Good, good, I don't know good. what else to say. You all get to keep your This is where he brings on the podcast, like, interrogate them for, like, audience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell me you liked the last episode now! No, I was just curious because I didn't know if, like, that would be, like, if other comment-related episodes might be a fun thing to do in the future. Because I had an idea. I, if more people, like, actually comment on Aetheral Space, I had this idea for, like, an Aetheral Space thing is, like, reading Aetheral Space comments out of context for, like, a trailer of why you should read it. I'll uh, start commenting. It would be really funny. Yeah. When I up to when I am up to date, I will 
I'm going to start commenting too. Everyone who reads Aetheral Space gets plus one epic point in their life journal. Yo! My first yeah. epic point! Ooh, you only have <laughs> one? Yikes. You're not going to get any of the perks. Yikes. You're never going to make it, kid. Instead. Right. <laughs> no! So, comments. Uh, Cute Sweet Corgo says, I need a better description of skin grabbers. I don't even remember what skin grabbers are. What are those? Those are my, my minions. Those are giant spiders with monster <laughs> claws. Oh, yes. Thank you. And they strip your skin. Uh, King T Rex 101 says, Sonic.exe and Yellow Devil SCPs when? I'm almost certain it's there's not. a Sonic.exe SCP already. There has there to be. There is not, but there, but there is the, there's a sort of like funny ta- like joke tale written by a Dave You Fool involving a, a Sonic and a Starkicism. I see. Uh, King Sonic T-Rex says, real? also yeah. sh- shameless plug for my World Anvil, and then they linked a World Anvil link in the comments. I actually don't know how they posted a comment without it getting spam filtered. That's kind of based on its own, because like I've never seen anyone do that before. <laughs> like Even when I try to link things on my own videos, it's like, mm, spam. Like, what? <laughs> uh, Three Yellow Arrows says, I love how Darnell tried bringing Tan into the improv bit with the Tan Honey Worm, but Tan completely dismissed it like, no, let me drink some water. See, Tan, I, I, I've i learned, I've learned because I'm the type of guy, I'm very improv based. I like to do improv comedy. I like to write my tabletops improv. Tan is like a, a proper writer. Like he writes a story beginning, middle, end. So I think Tan had his Yawn fan bit planned and he was not going to go <laughs> with whatever I threw out. So he was well, just I just like... didn't want to go back. I'm a Yawn fan was new. I didn't want to go back to just being me. <laughs> I see. I see. But it, the, that's not Yon a bad Sam thing. Is see, this than is... Tan Honey. True. I like Sam is an thing. alias, you fool. He was, he, was, he was kinder <laughs> after a hundred years on his own. Yeah. He'd been humbled didn't a little I, bit. Didn't I accept my skin grabbers after you at the end? Yeah, and I and I want to say, Tan, as well, that um, that wasn't an insult to you. I think our differing perspectives can be fun sometimes. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, he says, I don't know if you guys still consider recommendations, but here are some I'm confident well. you'd enjoy. SCP-6257, secure us, contain us, protect us. After an, don't spoil them in the thing. I'm not going to read the description. No, well, no, it's it's well, it's a premise. You don't. I won't. Uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll read the premises. Darnell doesn't I'll read, the read the premises. premises. I don't want to yeah, make you. Up. Really Here's the thing: yeah, is like you. Sh- this isn't just against you, Crocat. I would have done this to anyone else's comment like this, but I don't want to make you sad because you're here. So I'll read the. No, form. no, I don't want. No, listen, I don't want to make you sad. You will never make me sad. I'm already always sad. That's my secret cap. But uh, after we kidnapped you? Yeah. Well, actually, kidnapping was the most exhilarating thing that's happened in years. I thought I was going to be free from Tano, <laughs> and you fucking cut a deal with him, so... Guess that didn't hey. work out. Uh, after yeah, he's, an... we should try to have it too. he's so charismatic. He rolled a nat 20. He can't keep getting away with it. One, one of these days, uh, we'll have to properly chronicle the arc where, like, a guy cheated Tan out of, like, 100 gold in D&D, so he ruined his entire life. <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> it was so funny. I believe it. It was so good. He like, stole I, his... I couldn't focus on the actual like quest at all because I was like, I need to get back at him. <laughs> he nah. got... he, st- he, he ruined his relationship with his girlfriend. He took his business. He took everything. <laughs> 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 it was like, amazing the way I did it because it was like literally like kaiju. So <laughs> it was. It was is so that girl single now. Um, well, it was actually Tan's character's ex-wife, Birdtrude. Uh, I don't know if they got back together or if Birdtrude's No, her, I was but, like, but it just was like so that you know, meme where it's like, why do they always go only go for jerks? And then <laughs> think the third boy, I have one of money. But just so you know, before you go after her, Birdtrude is like an Eric Hogan, so she's a bird woman. Oh, and I mean like okay. heavy bird woman, ah, not like... I'm, not a, like, I'm, a, I'm a plant, I'm a plant, I can't judge. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> After an another, yeah, maybe. I'll read yeah. some comments as well as Bird Boy. God, I miss Bird Boy. I miss that campaign a lot sometimes. I had so much fun with you guys. Uh, Brad Gould pinged me about it the other day. He was like, Do you remember the name of that tiefling that Hams liked? And I had to go through my notes. My notes are so demented. I don't remember what half of them mean because they're all short. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like insane <laughs> ramblings. Um, okay. After an anomaly ends up leaking SCP files to civilians, three members of Parawatch attempt to use what they learned to expose the Foundation. Ugh, cancel culture again. And what unfortunately <laughs> follows. SCP-6426, Vampire Boat. What is with you guys in boats? An evil monster it, appears one day in the fun. city of Three Portlands. 
Three Ports is a secret city full of anomalous people. Um, and the citizens slowly discover and fight this creature. I actually know what Three Portlands is, because before hey, we... Here. This is... All right, this is a secret. Okay, this is top secret info mm-hmm. that you guys are getting for the first time after over 100 episodes. Before we started the Ayo. podcast, Tan wanted to, to gauge, I guess, gauge my interest in SCP without... Or maybe he was just showing me for the fuck of it, and it was a coincidence. But shortly before yeah, he invited was... me to the podcast, he was like, I need to show you these Minecraft retellings of SCPs that I've heard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and one of them was Three Portlands. <laughs> So I have a vague gist of what it's about. Like huh. some <laughs> Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Um Oh, I totally forgot what I was Oh, and the citizens slowly discover and fight the creature. I think the skip could serve as a good introduction to three Portlands. Oh, I have bad news for you, buddy, about my introduction to three Portlands. <laughs> yeah. Well I mean you you had a Minecraft introduction. This is this is a this is a full introduction. Well I, see, well, I mean I a, a brief introduction. Good introduction. Except- it's related yeah. to something Tanhoney's written, so I don't know if it'll be any good. I'm just not sure. You're dead. <laughs> I've never actually good. written anything. I've written one thing that mentions Three Portlands, so I, I don't Didn't know Didn't you make Three words. Portlands? No. Yeah, I did, actually. He did not. I, thought, I did. I thought you were the one mine. that made the... I thought you were the one that made the town of, like, the gods all fighting, and that was, like, one of your big accomplishments. That's not Three Portlands. Oh, which Three one's Portland. that? That's Daleport. Oh, that's Portland Daleport? Portland. Then I actually Portland don't... Portland I actually Portland don't... Portland United. Portland. United. I actually don't know what Three Portlands is then. I, I know what Daleport is. I thought those were the same oh. thing. Whoopsie. When you pour. Uh, okay, so I spoiled you. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, did I show him Three Portlands? No, no, no like, I, I, I got confused. I saw, the, I saw the word port and it was a city and I was like, oh, Portland, the port, Daleport, I guess. I didn't remember the name. It's been like three years. Uh, I think the skip could serve as a good introduction. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 6575, Smoke and Mirrors. Given this is a Surrealistics Department article, it's kind of hard to describe it without giving too much away. It's severely underrated, and has some really fun dialogue. Though there's three characters, so maybe you could read it when you have another guest. I have a hunch Tanhoney would enjoy reading Commands lines. I wonder what articles you'll read next episode. Alright. Um, next is Shythalia. Shythalia says, Pretty interesting hearing about other fans' little own SCP ideas. I have my own, too, but I don't know if the concept already exists, and <laughs> I don't really plan on putting it in the wiki. Laughing, sweating emoji. Um, oh, who's this Hamilton guy? Have you guys heard of him yet? Can we skip yeah. this one? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll skip this one. Um, <laughs> it's, no, I can't. I can't. He does too much. Hamilton says, DSCP, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he really does do too much. Apparently he, like, cleans your car as well. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he didn't. I just had him on the phone be like, hey, he's I don't need this shit, right? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's your financial advisor. So. He's like, oh, can you file my taxes while you're at it, Hamilton? You know, you know what? You know what? You know what the relationship with Hamilton is? All right, so so it's like, it's like, um, have you guys ever seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in Buffy like the, the Vampire person. Slayer, there's this character, Xander, who has a crush on Buffy, but she doesn't give a shit. And then there's another girl who has a crush on Xander, and he doesn't give a shit about her. So what it is, is like, it's kind of like that. It's like, I am always trying to DM Tan, and he never answers. And then Ham's always DMing me, and I'm just using him for car advice and, and creative <laughs> advice. <laughs> That's the circle of life. No, I'm kidding. Hamilton and me are buds. We actually hang out sometimes in calls, and we just, like, chill. Like, he was there when I was oh, working cool. on... Um, Flag bear, which I still plan to do. I just don't have any fucking time. There's too many things I want to do. Um, do you ever get that way, by the way, Tan, as a fellow creative, where it's like there's like 800 different things you want to do and you kind of get pulled in all directions? Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. Oh, so true. Yeah. I, I, I am the creative and I feel that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I would consider you guys creatives. Uh, insert clever name here says Wikidot was down just so they could add 134 more floors for the <laughs> 72nd anniversary on July 15th, 1975. <laughs> Luckily, these floors are temporary and will only last for 12 days after this event. This is where the secret SCPs exist, along with Thayan, the forbidden author. That's so good. Oh, let's see, I told you about Thayan. <laughs> oh, that's a cracked comment. Uh, Orchid Stream says, wait, the hacker's name is Dimitri? Uh, Dad? So this is where he went all these years. Unbelievable. Anyways, why great you, episode. Why you doing that voice? And I can't wait. I've been doing this voice for like the last five comments. I don't know what you're talking about. I... <laughs> Anyways, great episode. Bullying. I can't wait for the next one, Winky Face. I'm sure it'll even be it'll be even better, and so much so. 
Uh, Land says, oh, <laughs> Crocat, <laughs> Diaru, and Orchid all in the same room? What are the chances? What are the chances? What? Yeah, what are the chances? Who told, who told Lan? He was Ever there, remember? He was in the podcast. VC. It's no secret. Oh, yeah. right. There's, a, there's an elite club of Discord Sorry, VC Lance. people who know everything going on, and you can join them if you enter the Discord <laughs> oh, and hang no. out with us. We have them. all the secrets. Yeah. Yeah. An anomalous writer says, The last remnants of the wiki is still alive, but alas, it lives! Oh, yes! Comedy Man Kelp says, I had a dream earlier this week where I attended a Discovering SCP Live event where Tan and Darnell wear up on a stage doing their usual thing of reading the articles and giving commentary and whatnot. At one point, Tan just absolutely ripped into one article. I'm doing like a Darman narrator voice now. <laughs> like just verbally eviscerated it. Like he started cursing out the author's relatives live on stage. It was brutal. However, it turned out the article's author, who was my college history professor for some reason, was in the audience, and he leapt on stage and tried to attack Tan. But Tan just pointed at him and said, you have no bones, and the guy just collapsed into a mass of flesh, presumably because of his sudden <laughs> lack of bones. And for some reason, the crowd thought this was the absolute funniest thing ever. And the entire stadium erupted with laughter. It just felt like you guys should know that. It felt yeah, like a, like a, like a troll pasta wiki. <laughs> that was a whole ass arc. <laughs> JTKC says, You have no bones. Oh, you okay? okay. <laughs> I can't okay. believe Warre beat my comment by 25 seconds. It seems like a it preamp. Was four minutes. No, no, that's because apparently he originally commented fuck you, but then he deleted it because he felt bad. Huh. Oh, okay. This seems like a preamble to the WriterBot Festival Con, which I'm looking forward to. Hey guys at home, this is Darnell speaking. If you don't know, on June 4th, we're going to be having WriterBot Con... Do it Con... like um, the Sakura Con advert. I don't know how that one goes again. Could you remind me? It was like, Gurugamesh! Gurugamesh! Anime! Do you guys oh, like 682, oh, 049, and 173? Whoa, us too! On June 4th, we're going to be reading your SCP drafts live and criticizing them until Tan gets tired in two hours and goes to bed. Please, while you can, submit your articles. Or drafts, I mean. Actually, Tan, how long do you think you'll last this year? Hello? Hello? Did you say something? <laughs> Is he alive, Tan? Oh, he had to mute. Oh, oh did I hurt his feelings? Now I feel bad. <laughs> No, Tan, no. I'm sorry! I don't, I don't think so. I would assume. Tan Honey! Oh, back to JT's anyway, comment. Time I just the articles. He said, Hopefully, I don't procrastinate too much and get the draft done. But Super Auto Pets has taken over my life. Anyways, have an epic week. Tan? Yes, I'm. I'm I, I, yes, I am. Sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? I, I do, you did actually. I, do, I, do. I had to go and cry a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, how long do you think you'll last the stream this year, though? Uh, I don't fucking know. It depends upon circumstances. I don't know. I can't. I, I don't know what my bars will be at. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> bars? Wait, what? For one second. My, 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 <laughs> health, my health, my stamina. Tan wearing a backwards cap and a chain wrapping. I don't know how long I can keep these bars up. <laughs> I can only rap for so long! Rap. Use the controls quickly! I'll hold them off with my bars! <laughs> Tan, can you give us a freestyle verse? Just one verse. I cannot. Try. No. Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? Improv King. Quaker Button, those 128, says, Clock's ticking, boys! Itachi WDL says, same. And the first commenter, Guari Fernandez Emil, says, no comment this way. Hmm. Well, you did comment, so... Um, hmm. Quarry. That is a comment. Quarry. I'm a liar. Yes. Quarry. We don't have <laughs> liars on this podcast. Anomalous. I raised Quarry's audio from the entire episode. Oh my okay, No, Quarry. Don't, don't erase Quarry, but the next time he speaks, do that edit where it's like, oh! And then it's an like an echoing rat. sound. 
<laughs> oh wait, wait, what did you ask? It? Uh, I doubt Tanhony will let me keep getting away with predicting next episodes. I don't. I can't believe he's done it again. Um, yeah. All right. So before we let everyone go, FSCP crew. First of all, thanks again. If you guys don't know, on our Discord, these guys are Crowcat, uh, Guare, and Orchid Stream. You can probably see them in the uh, voice chat any given day, playing Gardic Phone or like Jackbox. Feel free to hop in and say hi. Uh, sometimes I try to be there when I can as well, and Tan even occasionally. Um, is there yeah, anything you guys? Did you work is there anything you three want to plug or talk about before we uh, end out the episode? Um, mm. Next next time we'll choose better articles. Your articles were yeah. fine. <laughs> look, look, you have to understand my last rating system because of bonus stars was too lenient. The new shit middle good is a much harsher system. Oh man, I missed oh. the I missed the bonus stars. Tan Tan and kept yeah, complaining. We kept receiving complaints, and by receiving complaints, I mean only from Tan. But he was flooding my inbox. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he he hated it he opted as well. he, he opted me so day. hard that I had to drop my long running bit and change review systems. Uh -huh. I'm out. Okay. Do it again. It's okay. Tanoni is my BFF, so he's allowed to opt me a little bit as a treat. Uh, anything else you guys want to plug? Nothing. Mm. Procat, didn't you have an article? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. should really read um, the vampire bot. Crocat's new article. Oh, I should have okay, guessed yeah. that was the crow cat one because it had to do with boats. Damn it. He's, a, he's a boat boy. Oh, well. You wouldn't have surprised <laughs> me. Ever since Tan tricked me in the beginning of this podcast, I check every author at the beginning of the reading. Traumatized. Too strong now. I've been traumatized too much. He basically pulled a D's nuts on me like three times and I've never recovered. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, uh, well, thank you guys again for coming on. You've been wonderful. We'd love to have you on in the future. I will say a five-person episode yes. is more chaotic than I expected. Yeah, but yeah. it was also fun. We yeah. might we bring the chaos. Very chaotic. All right, you guys have fun. We have like a five-minute pause for every single line. Uh, what's the password or question <laughs> for this week in the comments? Oh my god, password! Hel yes. Well, before we do um, that, I do have I some think exciting I think news. I oh, oh wait, hold on. Tan has yeah. exciting news, guys. Tomorrow, next month, next episode, we're going to be reading a Fuka article, Darnell. A what? A Fuka article. What's a Fuka article? What? what? Like Fuka. No Fuka plan. yourself. <laughs> Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. I, you, you see everyone laugh me you off the episode, the and as I hang up the Discord call on the OBS, I pull out the last cigarette in my pack, smoking it on the deck as I ponder my life. Then I walk into my back dark room and I pull out my witch's cauldron and start casting hexes, holding a Tanhony doll in one hand. I'll make him pay. All right. All right. All right. I like the witch's cauldron. Thank you. I worked hard on it. You use the cauldron? I thought the cauldrons for potions. You use those for hexes? Yes. This guy's okay. never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer shaking my head. I have. I just don't. Oh, I've seen episodes of it. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.